Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm your host, FD for Certified.TV, and today I'm bringing you the best cross-chain and interoperability protocol reviews, or head-to-head, -head, so to speak. Which of the ones I'm going to be covering today is the one that I think will come out on top. That's a fascinating video that we are bringing here today, guys. So, please stay put, don't move. But before I jump into today's video, guys, please know that what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video are just my own opinions, not factual, but are based the information on content that I've found for researching across the different crypto projects and ecosystems so please do not take this as financial advice it's just for educational as well as entertainment purposes and if you are from the uk this video is not for you uk authorities do deem anything crypto related to be extremely risky and they are trying to prevent you from losing your funds or investment that said let's come back to this week's subject matter or today's subject matter which is which is the best cross-chain and interoperability protocol out of the following three go to wormhole axla and layer zero so, cross-chain communication and interoperability protocols are crucial for the seamless transfers of data, assets, and information across different blockchain networks. These protocols address the challenge of blockchain fragmentation by enabling different blockchains to work together, creating a more connected and versatile blockchain ecosystem. Here's an overview of the three protocols that I just highlighted, the old Wemo, Axla, and Layer 0. Let's start with Wemo. Wemo is a decentralized cross-chain messaging protocol that facilitates the transfer of assets and information across various blockchain. Originally designed to bridge assets between Solana and Ethereum, Wemo is expanded to support multiple blockchains. Key features for Wemo, you've got cross-chain bridges. Wemo enables the transfer of tokens and NFTs between different blockchains by locking assets on the source chain and minting equivalent tokens on the destination chain. The next feature is Guardian Network. A decentralized network of nodes called Guardians verifies and signs messages between chains, ensuring security and trustlessness in the cross-chain transaction. Third feature is is interoperability. Wemo supports a wide range of blockchains, including Solana, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Cosmos Network as well. I think it also supports some on Polkadot. Correct me if I'm wrong. And finally, we've got Wemo Connect, which is a tool that allows developers to easily integrate cross-chain functionalities into their decentralized applications or dApps. So that's on Wemo. Now we've got Axla. Axla is a decentralized protocol that provides secure cross-chain communication for decentralized applications, offering a universal overlay network that connect various blockchain ecosystems. Key features for Axla. Let's start with universal message passing. Axla enables any-to-any -any message passing, which allows smart contracts from different blockchains to communicate directly with each other. That is a strong key feature. We've got the gateway protocol, which is the core of Axla's interoperability solution, acting as an entry and exit point for cross-chain communication. We also have cross-chain transfers. Axla supports the transfer of assets and information between blockchains, similar to other interoperability protocols, but with a focus on providing a generalized message passing framework. And final key feature that we are covering is Validator Network, where Axla uses a decentralized network of validators that manage the protocol, ensuring security and reliability of cross-chain operations. So that is on Axla. Let's move on to the last one, which is Layer 0. Layer 0 is an omni-chain interoperability protocol that aims to connect decentralized applications across multiple blockchains in a seamless and trust-minimized manner. Key features for Layer 0, good out to light nodes or ULNs. Layer 0 uses ULNs to verify the block headers and messages are cross-chain without needing a full node, making cross-chain communication lightweight and efficient. The next feature is endpoint security. Endpoints in Layer 0 are secured by a combination of an oracle and a relay, which together ensure the integrity of cross-chain messages. The next feature is omni-chain compatibility. Layer 0 is designed to be natively compatible with any blockchain, allowing developers to build applications that operate across multiple chains with ease. And finally, we have composable contracts. The protocol allows for the creation of smart contracts that can interact across different blockchains, enabling complex cross-chain applications. I think layer zero, just the quality of features here is incredible. But what I'm wondering though is, what if someone could just come look at these three and pick all the best piece from each and combine and create one? I think that would be way forward, but I don't know, maybe some of the mechanics are not compatible. So my evaluation in comparison, having gone through these three briefly, when comparing these three protocols, several factors come into play, including security, scalability, ease of integration, and the range of supported blockchains. Let's start with security, for instance. Wemo uses a decentralized guardian network for security, but it has faced high-profile security incidents, for example, that 320 million hack in 2022, which raises concerns about its robustness. And on Axla, we are still on security. Axla employs a decentralized validator network to secure cross-chain communication, offering strong security through consensus mechanisms similar to those 
in proof of stake network. And then layer zero security wise, it leverages ULNs and a combination of Oracle and relay systems for security, aiming to minimize trust assumptions while ensuring data integrity across chains. Moving on to scalability, we start with Wemon again. It handles high throughput across various blockchains, but its performance can be limited by the speed and capacity of the underlying guided network. So there is an inherent risk there. Axler, we are still on scalability. It is designed to be highly scalable with its universal message passing framework, capable of supporting large scale decentralized applications across multiple chains. And finally, layer zero, again, we are still on scalability. Layer zero offers lightweight and efficient cross chain communication with ULNs, which can scale easily due to reduced computational and bandwidth requirements. Moving on to integration and usability, let's start with Wemo again. It provides developer friendly tools like Wemo Connect, making it relatively easy to integrate into apps, but its security concerns may deter some developers. As for Axla, it is known for its easy integration with robust tools and documentation that allows developers to quickly enable cross-chain functionalities. And finally, on integration and usability, we've got layer zero. It provides strong composability with its omni-chain approach, making it easy for developers to build across multiple blockchains from the ground up. Okay, next area we are want to look at its ecosystem and adoption. Wemo first. Wemo is a broad range of supported blockchains and strong presence within the Solana and Ethereum ecosystem, with growing adoption in other chains as well. As for Axla, it is gaining traction for its universal message passing capabilities and is being integrated in various DeFi and Web3 applications, but its ecosystem is still maturing, it's still on the small side. Finally, Layer 0, which is rapidly growing with strong partnership and integrations within DeFi, gaming and NFT spaces, making it a strong contender in terms of ecosystem adoption. So in conclusion, selecting the best protocol will cover the areas we've just been looking at. Each protocol has its own strengths, but the choice of the best one depends on the specific needs of the project or application. So it's going to be use case dependent or application dependent. Let's start with scalability and security. From our point of view, I think Axla stands out for its robust security model and scalable architecture, making it a good choice for projects requiring secure and large-scale cross-chain communication. That's Axla. For developer-friendly composability, I think Layer 0 offers a highly composable and developer-friendly framework with strong security measures that minimize trust assumptions, making it ideal for innovative cross-chain application development or DAP development. For broad ecosystem support, you've got to give it to Wemo. Wemo offers the most extensive ecosystem support with a wide range of blockchains, making it suitable for projects that need to interact with multiple blockchains, although developers should be mindful of its past security issues. Now, what do I think? I think I've provided what I want to classify as a balanced review of these three across the different factors or elements we're reviewing. But which one do I think to me, this is probably the one that to probably just age over the line and become number one. Well, wait for it. I think layer zero images is the best option overall, particularly for developers looking for a secure, scalable, and easily integrated cross-chain solution with a growing ecosystem. Its innovative approach to omni-chain communication and compatibility makes it highly adaptable to various blockchain applications. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. I know it's loaded, but let me know in the comment section what you think. Until the next one, layer zero for the win. Bye for now.